when a substance melts or boils, you can put energy in. Energy is put in, but there is no change in the substance's temperature. Now that's a bit strange. I mean, after all, if you put thermal energy into water, then its temperature increases because that means its particles of liquid move around faster. And that's what temperature, temperature is. It's a, a measure of how fast the particles are moving or vibrating. So why is this? Why, why is it that you put energy in at the melting or boiling point, but there's no change in temperature? What's happening to that energy? Before we uh, give a definition, uh, uh, an explanation, I just need to uh, give you two very, very simple definitions that you need to be able to, uh, um, to write. So the melting point, the melting point is the temperature at which Guess what? A solid melts, starts becoming a liquid. And the boiling point, and uh, is the temperature at which, surprise, surprise, a liquid boils. I know those are very straightforward definitions. They're worth learning and they're worth being able to, um, to come up with in an exam. So let's go back to the question. Why is it that energy is put in uh, to a material at its melting or boiling point, but there is no change in temperature? And the reason is, so this, this is because at the melting point, at the melting or boiling point, the energy absorbed is used to, keyword here, break the solid solid or liquid bonds between the particles. So you put more energy in and if it's water that's reached its boiling point, that energy from the kettle, for example, is not used to increase the temperature anymore, it's used to break the solid or liquid bonds. It's break the liquid bonds in the case of water boiling between the particles, creating gas particles which can escape. So just put a little um, addition down here, uh, which is the energy put in no longer causes the particles to vibrate or move any faster. Okay, and that's the reason why uh, that uh, the temperature stays the same at the melting and the boiling points and that energy you put in is used to create the, the liquid, new liquid particles or the new gas particles by breaking the bonds that held them in place beforehand.